Am I the asshole for moving out and taking everything? Throw away for obvious reasons. Update. In comments and cat taxes. Background. I, 30 female, lived with a longtime friend, 30 male. We lived together for six years and known each other for 20 years, close families, he was very accepting that came with a cat, I paid for everything and legally owned her. He adored her though and would spend hours cuddling her. I owned everything, all the furniture and the white goods because I had lived out of home before but he had not. He got a girlfriend at the 3.5 year mark and she practically moved in immediately. I still paid half the rent though. She was always very rude to me and clearly didn't want me alone with my friend. There was only one lounge, attached to the kitchen, so he and I would previously watch TV together or just be in the same room while another cooked, worked etc. When she moved in that, had to stop, because I was interfering with their couple time. Her attitude towards me got worse over time and my friends started treating me badly. They would leave sex toys all over the place, watch movies late and loud when my bedroom was right there, glare at me if I cooked during their couple time even though they hogged the TV between 4 to 9 p.m. I got a boyfriend and started spending a lot of time with him. After this things got worse. My friend began locking my cat in small cages and putting her the shower. He also began talking differently to me and leave the kitchen in an absolute mess, mold, to make it difficult for me to cook. I found used condoms in the lounge. It then got to the stage where we wouldn't talk but all the tormenting was still going on. I decided to leave and started looking for somewhere else. The lease was up in four months but we had not discussed what we wanted to do. I found out through his sister, and a close friend of mine, that they had been saving up this whole time to move out and would be moving in a few weeks. This was news to me. I couldn't afford the rent by myself. I found a place before they did spoke to the estate agent and advised them of the situation turns out he had not been paying his full share of the rent and she was not listed as living there the agent did not hold me accountable for any of it i paid four weeks leave before i left i didn't tell them when i was leaving and on a day when they were not home my friends helped me pack up and leave the house was clean spotless i also took all of my furniture white goods and kitchenware so basically everything but his room I took my cat. After I left I received hundreds of missed calls and messages from them abusing me for not notifying them and taking everything and my cat. Most of his family also messaged me telling me what an asshole I am. My parents knew what I was doing, supported me but have also called me an asshole because our families are still not exactly on speaking terms. Not the asshole. Lol. I do love the nuclear option of moving out from shitty roommates. Your assets are yours, not his. Take all that is yours and leave him to his sex toy infested display area to enjoy. You've done more than most would do in this situation and made it right by the landlord. Move on and enjoy your stress free life with kitty cat. Not the asshole, let me get this straight. Your friend was harassing you, abusing your cat and planned to up and leave you with a massive bill for his rent and his unpaid rent and people are telling you that you're the asshole for getting out of there and leaving him with all of the problems of his own making? He and his girlfriend have made their bed, now it is time for them to lie in it. It also sounds like your parents are supporting you because they know you're in the right, but calling you the asshole because his family are taking out their issues on them. They need to deal with the family instead of telling you you're the asshole because they have to deal with the other family's BS. Also, you could probably post this in one of the revenge subreddits, probably pro-revenge. Not the asshole. They were nightmares, and it sounds like he got to the point of mistreating your cat, so why the hell should he complain that you took your cat with you? Not the asshole. They were purposefully antagonizing you. What you did was drastic, but it's no different than what they were going to do. They were planning on moving out without telling you, or at least they were planning on moving out and hadn't told you. You just moved out without telling them. It's worse for them because you provided them all the stuff they liked, but it doesn't make the action any different. You had good reason to believe they would have done something bad if you had told them because they were already purposefully trying to make your life worse. They are already planning on moving out. They can live a couple weeks with no furniture. Not the asshole. You took your things. It's not your fault he wasn't adult enough to get his own furniture. Also, you just screwed them over before they could screw you over and, 
frankly, it sounds like they deserved it. I mean sex toys and condoms in common spaces. Fucking gross. Not the asshole. Honestly, they were basically asking for it. If it wasn't for the part where they'd been discussing moving out without telling you, I'd say everyone sucks here because you didn't talk to them prior to such a big move. Yet, because of their attitude and them discussing moving plans behind your back, I'd say they got what they deserved. Not the asshole. Your stuff is your stuff. You took everything you bought, and that's okay. Good thing you brought the kitty too. Not the asshole. This guy is an animal abuser, you owe him nothing. My friend began locking my cat in small cages and putting her the shower. Not the asshole. Block them and forget about them. I'd do the same the moment they started to abuse my cat. It's unforgivable. Not the asshole. I did the same thing to similarly terrible roommates. The only difference is that I told them the night before, and only decided to take absolutely everything when they continued to be a-holes as I was moving out. I had been planning on leaving stuff I didn't need, but I just tossed it rather than let them have it. I also took a piece of the puzzle they were working on. Not the asshole. You did good to pay your share four weeks in advance considering he hadn't been paying his full half. Also, be glad that you got away from those slobs who don't know how to throw their condoms in the garbage. Not the asshole. I'm glad you were able to find a place and move out first, because they would have definitely taken all your stuff if they left first. Your parents need to tell his family that there are two sides to every story, and they need to stick up for you or tell his family to let it go. It's not their issue anyway. It's between you and your former roommate. Not the asshole. I don't see that they left you any choice but to leave and leave the way you did. What are white goods? Not the asshole. They put your cat in cages and in the shower? I would have been near violence if any roommate or friend did that to my baby. Good luck in your new place and good job getting out. Not the asshole. Your stuff was yours to take and they were being dicks. My first husband asked for a divorce out of the blue a year after the wedding. It was weird and sudden and he kept giving me different reasons, each one dumber than the last. He told me if I moved out and got my own place, I could take everything. So I did. Waited until he was gone and had friends come over and took everything except the couch and stuff that was exclusively his. Dude came home to no wife, no stuff and a couch to sleep on. His parents were livid with me for doing what he told me I could do, but I later found out the real reason he wanted a divorce was because he was cheating on me, so I regret nothing. You shouldn't, either. Not the asshole. I'd bet money that they left out how awful they were to live with. You should respond to each other person who is mad at you with a link to this post. Not the asshole. Also cat tax cat tax cat tax. Not the asshole big time, and my response to anyone asking would be, I took all the stuff that I bought and owned, and left all the stuff he bought and owned. I don't see what the problem is. Follow that by you blocking them if they still think you're an awe. Not the asshole. They're upset because you left and took all of your stuff before they could leave, take all of your stuff, and leave you with their unpaid bills. He's lucky you don't go after him for the 2.5 years where his girlfriend didn't pay one third of the rent. By rights, you're owed money in this situation, but they're still abusing you. They abused you mentally, emotionally, and financially for years, and I'm proud of you for escaping this abuse in a safe manner. Good luck to you op. Please give us an update post in three months to let us know how you're doing in your new place. Not the asshole. You took what was yours and moved out. They were probably planning on doing the same thing and are just throwing a fit because you beat them to it. NTA at all. Good job getting out instead of having them stiff you with a flat you can't afford with no notice. You just beat them to it and that's why they are mad. Bad people. Not the asshole. Like. I can't figure any words for a situation where you could be called an asshole here. Not the asshole. Sounds like you left two cheapskates in the dust. Tell them to kick rocks. I know it's easy for me to say that since I don't know your family, but being tough is important to do sometimes. Not the asshole. Obviously as the cat was yours and the furnishings. I'm surprised you think this deserves a moral judgment. Block all communications. You are free of tush. Not the asshole. 
He locked you cat in cages and put it in the shower but was surprised you took your cat with you to your new house. I can't even understand the logic behind this. As for all the furniture. If it was yours why wouldn't you take it? I would have left the lounge but that's only because of what you found in it lol. You don't owe him anything and you should be able to use your own apartment and things you pay for. If anyone complains just ask what they would do in the same situation? Make balloon animals with the lounge condoms? Not the asshole for obvious reasons. Pro tip. Be an asshole. It's a lot better than being a doormat. It sounds like they had been taking advantage of you for a while and it would do everyone good if you had stood up for yourself a lot sooner. I get that it can be hard and awkward sometimes but if you don't say anything you can only blame yourself, why no? It's like they say, silence is compliance. Just some advice for you going forward from someone who used to prefer being walked over just to keep the peace. You are definitely not in the wrong. They both sound like pieces of work. You don't deserve to be treated like an inconvenience in your own home. Not the asshole you were more polite than I would have been. Hash not the asshole. He's no friend and this chick sounds terrible. I am glad you got out if there and you should feel zero guilt. If your parents have a problem with it, they can go live with them and enjoy the abuse. Not the asshole. If he was willing to do all that, I say fuck em. Not the asshole while informing them would have been the polite thing to do they did more than enough to not deserve it. Also probably saved a lot of your possessions by not informing them. Not the asshole. From the timeline it seems like they only had a few more weeks before they were moving out too. They definitely were planning on taking your things, if not your cat. Good on you for outsmarting them. I feel like Reddit only focuses on some parts of the story and refuses to look at the whole picture, which is exactly what has happened here. And hash x200b. I am prepared to get downvoted into oblivion but hear me out. And hash x200b. Are you the asshole for moving out? No. Are you the the asshole for taking your cat out of the abusive situation? No. Are you the asshole for taking your own stuff with you? No. Are you the asshole for not giving them even a slight heads up and letting them walk into an empty apartment? Well, yeah. And hash x200b. Were you ah? Uh? Yes. But was it justified? Al significant other yes. Maybe this is what your family means. You could have let him know at least the day of, instead of ghosting him like this. That said, good on you for getting out of this super crappy situation. I'd do the same in your position. Not the asshole for sure. Not the asshole. Your friend and his girlfriend sound like complete asses. They planned on footing you with a place you can't afford, plus the rent he wasn't paying, and might have taken all if not everything from how it sounds. You legally owned everything so it was yours to take, at that point were you guys even friends? So why would you have not taken everything? Time for him and his girlfriend to buy their own stuff. Also, kind of shows how 20 years of friendship means to him once he got with his insecure GF. Absolutely not the asshole. It's what they deserved. They didn't communicate to you their intent to move out, so why are you somehow obligated to? You owned everything you took. They should have treated you and the cat better. What the hell is wrong with your friend that he could be so heavily asshole fluenced by his girlfriend? You lived together for six years with no problems and then she poisons him against you for existing? What a weak ass person. Not the asshole. Info. What did these people say when confronted with the fact they were trying to move out first and hadn't told you and weren't even paying their half of the rent this time? You're not the asshole obviously but I'm genuinely curious over the cognitive dissonance that must be involved for them to get mad at you for taking your own things and cat. Congrats on the move. Not the asshole. Screw them both. They deserved it. Why did you put up with that for 2.5 years and how wasn't he kick out for not paying full rent? Also sounds like they were going to do the same thing but leave you to pay his balance. Nope you are hands down in the right on this one. Locking your cat in a cage. Girl I would have beat both of their asses for that. Send his parents pictures of the condoms and sex toys littered around the house as evidence of why you left. Not the asshole. Play stupid games. Win stupid prizes. Wanna shit on others? Prepare to get shit on. They're mad at you for taking a cat they were abusing and clearly didn't want around? 
who the hell does that? Plus, who leaves their sex toys and used condoms everywhere in a shared space? Ew, absolutely disgusting. Not the asshole you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. They're just pissed you beat them at their own game. Woman shrugging medium light skin tone. Esh. I don't understand why people let supposedly valuable relationships just erode like this. Not once do you mention trying to communicate these things to him. You just get emotional and react all the way to this. But that's relationship ships in your 20s lol. This is gold you deserve one but I can't give it to you cuz I a minor with no money. Honestly you seem fine not the asshole. Info. What the heck are, white goods. Not the asshole, like someone already said. They were probably going to steal you stuff. They didn't tell you and were mad you moved first before they could do it to you. I am so glad you found out about them leaving. You're definitely not the asshole. They're both asshole and I hope you never forgive them. Three years of abuse was enough.